Time for I've Always Wondered. This is the segment where we ask somebody a series of questions that we've always wondered the answers to. It is Jerry's turn. I'll begin. Uh, Jerry, I've always wondered, how often did Terry Collins lose his temper in the clubhouse? <laughs> That's a fair question. Uh, the answer is not very often, only when we really deserve it. He was so, like, just he's a high-energy human being, and he's so positive all the time that when he does lose his temper, it's usually in your defense. So in the clubhouse, there's no one there for him to defend you for. So he, he, he was a pretty calm and just a wonderful baseball mind, a man that dedicated himself to the game of baseball. So I, I enjoyed my time with Terry. I've always wondered, and now I know he was a teammate of yours for a little bit, what was the key for you to getting Bryce Harper out? Harper went 5 of 20 against you in his career. Pretty decent numbers on your part. You know, I knew he always wanted to hit a home run, and I think it stemmed from us being teammates is that competitiveness. I knew he was going to try to hit the ball 6,000 feet. And if I knew if I could just execute the pitch where I needed to put it, I knew that I was going to most likely come out on top. You know, he's a he's a heck of a hitter. And so even when you make your pitch, he has a chance to do damage. But as long as I was able to execute my game plan and get him to chase my pitch, I knew that I was going to usually come out on top there. I've always wondered, Jerry, I think I've asked Anthony the same question of Wheeler, Harvey, Syndergaard, and DeGrom. Who did you originally think would have the best career? Uh, for me, it was Syndergaard. I remember our first day of spring training when I'm next to him in 2016. You know, it's our first day. We're not, I don't even think we officially started yet. And I'm throwing beside Syndergaard and my pitches are coming in like 83, 84 because it's the first time for me coming off a mound outside because I, I'm in Ohio. And then I look next to me and the ball is just exploding out of his hand. He is throwing 99 to 100 from day one. I was like, this guy is an absolute freak. Uh, he's special, and I feel ashamed to be pitching next to him. I've Thank always wondered there. about pitcher-catcher relationships. So I checked, of the 22 guys who caught you in the big leagues, Anthony Recker had the second lowest ERA uh, to catch you, 1.50. So I'm wondering, if he had caught you throughout your career, would you be uh, heading for Cooperstown someday? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think it's, it's uh, hands down, straight to Cooperstown for both of us. Uh, no, Anthony and I, I mean, we go way back to double A. When I first got traded over to Oakland, he was my first catcher. Uh, I remember giving up a, a walk-off home run in extra innings in Corpus Christi, Texas. And, uh, and our relationship has grown from there because he came out to me and goes, ah, we'll go get him tomorrow. You had good stuff. And I, I knew we were going to learn to grow together. Anthony was awesome behind the plate. As, as hard as he is on himself, uh, he had a great career, too. And uh, we're, we, weren't be, we wouldn't be headed for Cooperstown as a realist, but I definitely enjoyed pitching to him.